Hey everyone, Obsidian recently released version 14.10 on their Insiders channel and this version features multiplayer synchronization. I made some changes to Xcolidraw to leverage these new features as well as I invited TFT Hacker to play with me and test this new feature on a shared vault. In this video, I want to give you a brief overview of what Obsidian multiplayer synchronization is about, and I want to share our experience setting up a shared vault and then doing some parallel editing of documents in that shared vault. I will close this with some closing thoughts about features that I would still like to see in multiplayer sync and how you might want to approach larger and smaller group collaboration using Obsidian going forward. So let's get started. So multiplayer sync is exactly the same as personal sync. The only difference is you can invite others to collaborate with you on a shared vault. This means that each person participating in this synchronization sharing must have an Obsidian Sync subscription. However, the vault that is created counts only against the quota of the owner, not all the participants. Each subscriber has a quota of five vaults that you can synchronize. And in this way, the owner will reduce this quota by one if he or she shares a vault to collaborate with others. Otherwise, Obsidian Sync is going to give you the exact same experience as the personal synchronization. You can configure if you want to synchronize certain folders, you can configure if you want to synchronize plugin settings and the plugin code, plus you have the synchronization history. Everything is largely the same. So the objective of looking at Obsidian Sync was to get a first-hand experience of how it works. I was in particular interested in how parallel editing of documents will uh, work. And then I wanted to understand also permissions management and overall the speed and experience of this new feature. So to get started, setting up the shared vault was pretty simple. I created a new vault, I enabled it via sync, and I set a password for the vault. Then there was a button I could invite people by their email address. I invited TFT hacker. He received an email. In the email there was a link. He clicked on the link and it opened his Obsidian accounts page where he could accept the invitation. And then going into Obsidian directly in settings under synchronization settings. He was able to locate this new vault that I've shared and activate the synchronization of that vault. Both TFT Hacker and I had to uh, turn on a number of settings in our synchronization to synchronize the plugins, the plugin settings and the data as well as we both had to enable community plugins so that we can use the community plugins uh, in our experiment. So overall, setting up the synchronization was very simple. It took a few minutes and it was very straightforward. About the uh, experience itself using Obsidian Sync, we found that parallel editing of documents is problematic. When we were editing a markdown document, then there were some edit conflicts and the messages that Obsidian provided weren't always very clear. I don't remember seeing a message that my changes were overwritten. I only saw that the text that I entered on the page were overwritten by the text that the FT hacker entered. Thus, I think the parallel editing at this time uh, still requires some work. By the way, even though I made some enhancements to Xcolidraw, Xcolidraw also wasn't even close to the Xcolidraw.com shared uh, whiteboard experience. 
yes you can do shared editing of the document and it is not going to overwrite stuff that you've created but it's lagging and it is not really a shared whiteboard experience it is good if you have a small team of people who might accidentally work on the same document and in that case there aren't any collisions but if you need a real-time collaboration on a whiteboard, then I suggest that you go to xcolidraw.com and then copy the end result into Obsidian. Regarding the conflicts, file conflicts, what we found was that A, there were no clear warnings. Sometimes we saw some warnings and B, when we looked at synchronization history, it was very hard to unravel what has happened. We believe that synchronization history is great for personal use, but for a team setting, the current synchronization history is not yet strong enough to be able to understand what has happened and how synchronization conflicts have happened. It would also be good to have more granularity on the permissions. We also found that removing permissions was a bit of a a surprise. It was very easy to remove the permissions of TFT hacker from the vault. However, his vault continued to synchronize with my vault and this happened uh, until he restarted Obsidian. So I think this is something to still work on. Uh, at this time, if you kick someone out from your synchronization, then until that person restarts his or her machine, he will receive all of the changes that you're making and you will receive all of the changes from that person. This is not very fortunate. In conclusion, it would be great to have real-time collaboration support in Obsidian Sync. It would be even better if the name of the person would appear next to the changes that were made. Overall, in its current form, I wouldn't recommend Obsidian Multiplayer Sync for teams larger than a couple of people. I believe that with size, the probability of collisions will increase and it is going to be a frustrating experience based on the current history available for Obsidian Sync to work through all the conflicting cases. I think a larger team, maybe a team of 10, 15, 20 or 100 are much better off with something like GitHub Sync because GitHub provides proper check-in, check-out features as well as a much more robust version history where you can check who has changed what and uh, it is just more robust and more transparent. So overall, I am still very excited about Obsidian Multiplayer Sync. I think this is a step in a very, very promising direction, but the product at its current early stage is not yet there for a large team to use it in a collaborative fashion. It is good for uh, sharing a vault with a couple of people, or it is good if you're working together in a vault and you work in more atomic documents. So that was one finding we had working with Chris that parallel editing of a large document was a problem because we always got overwritten with each other's entries. However, when we created separate atomic documents and our main document was a transclusion of these atomic parts, then working in the atomic parts, we didn't conflict with each other's edits and then multiplayer vault worked extremely well. So I think you need to keep these things in mind and knowing the speed at which Obsidian is developing, I'm pretty sure that in a couple of weeks time, we're going to have a much more robust synchronization capability built into Obsidian and it is going to be fantastic. Thank you.